On today's episode, we're heading over to the Super G Ranch, where we're going to try to hunt some buffalo. So today we have Joseph, Major Jonathan Turnbull, Derek, and Thomas with us. Mike, uh, this is Joseph, good friend of mine. Uh, we're going on a, a buffalo hunt today. We've never done this before. Uh, we're getting ready to harvest four buffalo today. One is for Joseph. The other three are for three other hunters we got coming in. We're really excited about this. We've never done this. Uh, and it's more of a meat hunt than it is a hunt hunt. Uh, one guy that uh, was in an accident in Syria, actually a suicide bomber, uh, is going to be shooting one with a a crossbow today. We're hoping he don't get stomped in the dirt, um, but that's where we're going. Have a great one. Come on with us. If we hunt them in the woods, you get them spooked up. Yeah. They got a mile section to run in, and you yeah. get them spooked up, and then it goes 30 by. Oh, they'll keep coming. They'll be just a steady. They'll be just a steady line. As long as we're close to a vehicle or a tractor, they, they're, they're going to be a little hesitant coming through. Yeah, right. There's not like a four-year-old cow getting on them. Yeah, I just picked him up. Yeah, he's pretty new. But what happens is when you domesticate them to a certain extent and you, you graze them and feed them both, yeah. what happens is they'll come in heat earlier than they should be, yeah. and they'll calve in the fall instead of the spring. Gotcha. Usually two and a half they breed, and if we take good care of them and feed them, there's a young heifer coming through here and a calf. If you put it right behind his front, when his front leg goes ahead, you want to be right behind him. Okay, man. Is he is he close enough to shoot at yet? Just waiting for him to turn broadside. It's turning. It's turning. There you go. There you go. Drop him. Got him, man. We waited all week for this. Cool beans, Joseph. He's nice. That's a nice one. Are you excited? I am. He's he's nice. He was saying that this has got a, a weird horn on it. But uh, it would be really cool because it's so big. The base is really big on these horns, so it's going to make a good European mount. Wow. So there you go. Yeah, I've been out in the stuff enough. Yeah, be careful there. You need to do you need some help? He's got that one spike right down in the ground. Yeah. Okay, you all right? Okay, oh. now you want your gun to or you don't? You might want one. Yeah. Pretty hefty little sucker, ain't they, Joseph? You better watch you lose seven. Yeah. yeah, I think that one wants your body there, buddy. He likes oh, your chair. Hey, I think that one likes you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where do I got to go to be out of the way, Frank? There, there he goes. Smile. I'm Major Jonathan Turnbull. Today I'm going to shoot a buffalo with my crossbow. Make dreams come true. United States Army retired, and I remember it just like yesterday. January 16th, 2019, I was leading a special operations team called Cross-Functional Team Manbij in Manbij, Syria. But defending freedom, we are promoting justice and helping defend the American way of life when an ISIS suicide bomber attacked my team detonating himself uh, about 10 feet away from me. An explosion that killed four of my teammates, four amazing Americans, uh, left myself and three others horribly injured. Uh, my injuries, as you can see with my face, started out with, uh, I lost my right eye. My left eye was badly damaged, so I lost my eyesight. I was flown from Syria to Iraq, to Germany, to back to the United States. Spent two years and underwent 22 life-saving surgeries to 
get me here today upright and if you want to hear about my story check us out you can find my book zero percent chance on amazon if you like audiobooks you can find it on audible it's pretty great so i recommend it this is where i'm the edge edge of the woods <laughs> we drove we drove up to him so now we can stop that's right that's exactly right <clears throat> well they they actually kind of like the vehicles so you think they're gonna get more food probably hi i'm tim honeycutt i run an organization called zero day um, we actually built this bill for john for things like this so i'm going to be helping him with uh sighting in on the on the bull that he wants to harvest and we can't wait Come on, Tom. You should be a little right behind the shoulder to give me a good shot. Okay. Get safe off. Here, you can track it though. Remember how to do it. Tim will put you. That's a good shot, Tom. He's giving us another angle. He turned around. Back up. Oh, may go down. Okay, Jason. He's kneeling. He's actually on the ground. We're gonna put another one in him, anyways. Yep. So I'm gonna move you to the right. Hold on, don't take the safety off. I'm gonna move you to the right a little bit. Actually, let's take it out. You wanna hold on to me? You need to walk up about 25 yards, maybe 30. You just walk, hold my elbow. Mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Okay. This is the. This one went down. Better than any of the other ones. Good shot. Good job. You want to move up here? Okay. Yep, I got it. I got you. He's about 35 yards from the back. The arrow up the hand now. Like that. We got him. One thing you had to do in life. Here, grab my arm again. Pretty good spot right there. <laughs> you want to touch him and stuff? He's right here. Um, he's right here, right here in front of him. Yeah, he didn't move. That's cool. Holy moly. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> His Big horn's one. right here to your right. Yeah, there's the horn. That is awesome. A good base on his horn, big around. Yeah, that's, that's a... Start going down to the base there. See oh, yeah, that's... They are? Mm -hmm. That's a band. Oh yeah, we can drink some meat out of that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Winning! <laughs> you smell that? It smells like success. Turn to your right over top of them, they can't. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. What an awesome day. Might be a little rainy, might be getting cool out there, but a perfect day to come out here and hunt a buffalo. And we're able to stalk them a little bit. So it wasn't all easy. We had to put a little work behind it and made it fun, made it worth it. And a great, great adventure and a great time. Definitely took care of one of the items on my bucket list because who doesn't want to shoot a buffalo at least once in their life? Or the liver. Okay. I didn't bring the whole liver. It's fine. Just like they did in Dances with Wolves. Buffalo liver. What's it taste like? It has a flavor, but I don't know. 
Yeah. It's good. I'll eat it again. Uh, it probably was. Hmm. That's why my head, my hand was coming up too. So Thomas hasn't done anything like this before. I'm pretty sure he hasn't even gone fishing before, let alone hunting. So already, you know, that strikes up a challenge, which is good. We love a challenge. But every time Thomas is just about to pull the trigger, buffalo takes off. Or we actually have a camera hooked up to the scope. Obviously, that's how he controls it. You know, so if the buffalo is not moving, the camera's falling off the scope. So he was just having a heck of a time. Oh, oh, oh buffalo. Okay, so where do we go from here, big guy? Go ahead. I'm right here. Right in front of you. Okay, where you at, Thomas? Right in the middle. Of here. Okay. <gasps> okay, my name's Mike, and we're taking Thomas buffalo hunting today. Uh, it's going to be quite a day. We're, we've seen quite a few. We've already gotten two so far. We're on our third buffalo. Thomas has never had buffalo, so we thought we'd see what we could do. This is more of a meat hunt than it is a real hunt. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Thomas has got his disabilities just like the rest of us, so we're gonna have a great day. This is Chris, he's our secondary cameraman, and he's the one that set Chris up with us. Are you ready for this, Thomas? Heck yeah. Man, me too, man, I just can't wait. Let's go. Hey man, let's, blow, let's go for it. Let's flip it up. There we go. See him? Other way. Other way. All the way to the left. Down. The only one on the other side to track. Down. Up just a little. A little more. I'm gonna close this window. I'm gonna say right there. Are we on him? Yeah, we're on him. Close the door and pull the trigger. Whenever you're ready. Ready? Whenever. Oh, he moved. Yeah, he moved. You're gonna have to follow him. Well, where did he go? He's going the other. He's going that way. So, yep, that way. Back yeah, in the crowd. A heifer here. Over here. This one's a heifer. To the right? No, no. Right here that's walking at me. Yep. That's a heifer. The other bull's back in that middle. Yep. And that's but the one you're right on. Right behind them. Which one do we want? The one in back or front? In front, but there's one standing behind it. Gotcha. Get ready. He'll turn. Here comes one right in front of the truck. Right here. He's got a nice head on him right here. That blood just gets them worked up and they got to push and fight and carry on. And is there one behind that? Yeah, he's at least one behind that. Yeah. Oh, there is, yep. He's got nice horns. See how they turn in nice? Yep. That's our, that's the one you're after. Yeah, push it on there. Okay, here we go. Right there. He's got his head down. Right there. Up back. See the dark and the light? This is like so dutchy. It, it is. is. Dang it. Relax. No rush. Yep. We're going live. Get him. Ready? Oh, you're going to have to go back back to the left a little. Oh, buddy. I come down just a little bit. Oh, not quite that much. Ready? Yep. Drop him. Get him. Push it. a lot better in here, ain't it? You get him? Oh, I hit him. That's all we and need. The, and the scope is off. I can't see through the screen no more. Oh, the camera came off. Come back. Oh, ready? That's good. Get him. Ready? Hey, it didn't chamber or something. 
Did you guys put another shell in? Yeah. You guys on him? Okay. Hey, right, there we go. I was gonna let you hear the shot. We got one in the way. We got one in the way now. I feel your pain. I really do. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, Whatever. ready? There we go. Ready? Yeah. Um, we're gonna have to come back this way just a little bit. Oh. We're ready. Get him. Hit it again. So Thomas shot his buffalo. You know, it's it's starting to go down. It's they're strong animals. You know, a lot of times you can shoot it if you shoot a deer just right, drops them. You shoot a buffalo just right, you know, you, they're strong. They're gonna just keep going. And the, the other buffalo can sense when the other ones are hurt. So normally they'll start, you know, the other bulls, they're mean. So they'll start, you know, shoving their horns into the, the wounded buffalo. Something a little different happened this time. Um, yeah, as you can tell. Yep, he's going down. Oh, this one's going down. He's going down. Hey, All right, can you see it? See ya? All right. We'll be up there in a minute. See him? No. No? Here, let's roll the window down for you. Oh, this one? Yeah, the one that's tumbling? Yeah. Yeah, that's yours. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Go down, guy. Way to go, Thomas. <laughs> what do you think? Heck yeah. We got him. We got him. <laughs> There's a lot of burger there, buddy. About 200 pounds of hamburger. Listen to that thing. Sounds like he's got asthma. He's probably <laughs> mad. Yeah, he's got an attitude. We killed one of his buddies. Oh. <laughs> he's probably glad he's gone. Less competition. <laughs> Oh, you nailed it twice. I know. That's what I was like, dang. <laughs> yeah, first thing was good. Yeah. Was it? it was just a little higher. Yep. Yeah. And then, yeah, the second one, you toast. So, heck yeah. <laughs> you think, Thomas? Awesome. Yeah? All right. I knew you was going to make it, Thomas. I just knew it. Get one way or another. Yes. There's a lot of meat there, brother. I don't, I don't feel a hole there. The second one was down there. Well, he was facing the other way, right here. Oh, a little low. Yeah. Where? Real low and back. Well, he was cornered right here. Well, that could be that. Uh, that could be an exit. Yeah, that's probably an exit. Yeah, that's probably an exit. Right there. You can get in here too, Chris. It's like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're gonna make a Mike sandwich. There you go. <laughs> Who's this? I'm Chris. Oh, where's the buffalo? I thought he was a buffalo. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> he was fuzzy. They're, they're both. They're both pretty hairy. <laughs> Where? Which way are we looking? Straight ahead. Okay. Straight ahead. <laughs> no yeah, picking your nose. <laughs> that thing just gave you the shot, didn't he? It did. And we had a while, it took a while to get on them with them stupid controls though, didn't it? Yes. Next year we'll have it a little better where it works a little better. <laughs> right is supposed to be right and left is supposed to be left, right? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Well, we didn't do that this year. Next year it'll be that way. <laughs>
What did you think, Thomas? It was pretty fun. Uh, yeah, buddy. You, you drilled him. Both, yeah. both shots. Yeah, two so shots in the, right in the gizzard. If he had one. <laughs> There's the gizzard. Okay, we got Derek in the van. He's our fourth hunter today. These buffalo are really pretty easy to hunt. This is a meat hunt. Um, but it's a whole lot of fun just getting the opportunity to get out here and do this with these guys. Uh, today, we're hoping to be able to use two vehicles. We're trying something we never tried without the person actually in our vehicle. Uh, do you guys have a lift on this? Yes. Worst case scenario, we can left the, let the lift down and he can ride his wheelchair over to my truck. Any winter coats on or anything? Yeah, we got sweaters and stuff on. Why okay, he so. won't be out there very long. Okay, get me out of here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, we, we stored them. You ready, Derek? Uh, let me set up first. Are we ready, guys? You want me to hold that for you? Put my hand around the cord. Not that far, just around the cord. So I hold this down. No, twist it. When he's ready to shoot, you hold it down. Yeah, keep it down. Way. Keep it down. There Does that mean you hold it against you? Yeah. When he wants to fire, he's going to hit his red right button. Good. We want to shoot that one? Yeah, you, you can get on it, yep. Is it? Is it the one with the horns in the back? Yeah, right here. Right here. Or right in front. You just turned the right here. Yeah, right here. Okay. We're shooting the girl? Yep. Right there. You want to be about right there, down below that spot plate right there. That's where you want to be. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Make sure there ain't something behind it. Yeah. Yep, now you gotta go down just to touch. And then back just to touch. Oh, oh she's moving on you too. Yep. Okay, now you got one behind her. Yeah. You gotta go down just to touch. Right there, right there. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna move again. Now she's in traffic. Yep. Okay, right there. Yep, you're perfect. Go ahead. Shoot, Shoot. it. Yep, you're Here ready? Go. Shoot. Yeah, man. Yeah, good shoot. Yeah. Good oh, shot. Good shot. Push him up and watch. Yeah. Do what? We're going to go watch the ball. That's the first one that's went down with oh, one nice. shot. Nice. No kidding. Where's that? Right, she's still standing right she's, oh, she's right here. Yeah, she's wobbling. Yeah. She's going down. Yeah, we had to shoot one three times to get it. That's sideways? Yeah, she went down once. Is that right? And it got back up. So the front part went down. She got back up. She's huh. just standing there right now. Wow, that was an incredible shot. Uh, Derek, these things are just so bad. He hit this with 180 grain, 30 odd six, and a perfect shot, and just stood there. Uh, we thought we was going to have to shoot it again, but I don't think we're going to have to. Uh, the thing's actually dead on its feet. Just amazing how strong these animals are. Well, they're they got a lot of blood. they're very dense. Buffalo didn't go down with the first shot, so I'm gonna help my dad and finish it off with this one. Finished off that buffalo. Uh, I'm gonna be heading back because it's cold, but uh, got it done. This is my dad's buffalo. When we first started this foundation, uh, and we, we started in California, but when we actually first started working with clients, um, we had a lot of people that we met that never dreamed they'd be able to do the kind of things that we're teaching them how to do. Just to let these guys know they don't have to quit. 
there's lots of things that they can still do. It doesn't have to be hunting and fishing. That's the lure or the bait that we use to get these guys to come in here so that we can work with them. We're what you would call pre-rehabilitation. Um, you have an accident like what happened to me happened in your life at 32 years old where you go totally blind instantly. Um, you're going to have to rethink what you've been thinking. If you're interested in donating, we have uh, a website, it's Christ Outreach for the Blind, and we're just hooking it up on PayPal this week, so we'll have a way to donate there. We also have a Gmail account, which is Christ Outreach for the Blind at gmail.com. Then, if you need to contact me personally, my landline is 231 629 8443. Thanks a lot, and have a great night.